Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadGuru.com. What's your morning horn of Z's? Your sip of coffee. Horn of Z's. Road Deruda. I do need to get more of these made. <coughs> um, I have one word, two syllables for you. Te Wu. Te Wu. Te Wu. <laughs> so I talked about it uh, last week that one of the largest commodity traders in the world is about to go belly up. They just happen to be state owned. China's moment of reckoning arrives. $38 billion state owned giant announces largest dollar bond default in two decades. Now, you're going to read this in the paper probably Monday morning. And not many people will talk about the significance of number one, a Chinese state owned business allowed to go under. I've been saying for a long time the good guys are working with China. This whole fight over the trade and all that, they're working with China. China's looking to take down the bad guys just like the good guys are. So China has been a huge player in silver manipulation, bailing out Deutsche Bank of their silver position. But, very interesting, their largest state-owned derivative trader in the metal space, most likely, nobody's talking about the derivatives, is allowed to go under. That way they control the collapse of the derivative market. Right on time. It's crazy, I know. But you're going to read about it next week. The problem is they're not going to say anything about the derivatives until later. Now, derivatives don't settle for, I think it's about three weeks before they settle. And in this in this uh, bankruptcy, a lot of times, Life Masters set up a, a scenario after 2008. She went to the ISDA, which is the entity that kind of regulates, pseudo-regulates derivatives. And said, oh, it's got to be a specific thing to be a bankruptcy. It can't be a restructure. It can't be this. It can't be that. Um, Moody's has come out and said this is a bankruptcy. This is a default. So that is huge as far as will these derivatives be settled properly. Anyway, uh, let me talk about – let me go through the article quickly. Two weeks ago, we previewed – uh, what we said would be D-Day for China's bond market as a massive commodities trader and Global 500 state-owned enterprise was set for unprecedented bond default. As of last week, the historic default is now in the history book after Taewoo, the closely watched Chinese commodity trader, became the biggest dollar bond defaulter among the nation's state-owned companies in two decades. In what Bloomberg called a, quote, moment of reckoning for Beijing, as China struggles to contain credit risk in a weakened economy as bond defaults hit an all-time high and are set to keep rising in the coming years. China is not struggling. China is doing exactly what it is supposed to do to take down the bad guys. They will take down the whole system. It is all coming down. Last week, Taewoo Group announced its results of its unprecedented debt restructuring, which saw a majority of its investors accepting heavy losses and which, according to rating agencies, qualifies as a, an event of default. Why is that important? Because it triggers derivatives. And these guys, I don't know. They haven't announced how much derivatives are in play. I would assume it's very large amount of commodity der derivatives, mainly silver and gold. As a result of the default, until recently seen as virtually impossible for state-owned company investors, Perceptions are undergoing a dramatic U-turn about government-owned borrowers whose state ownership had for years offered an ironclad sense of security. No more. The fact that a state-owned enterprise such as Taewoo has now defaulted on repaying its bonds in full confirms that Beijing will no longer bail out troubled SOEs, let alone private firms perhaps due to the strains imposed by the economy, which while growing below 6% is slowing. No, it's because they are trying to destroy the system as well. This time, in 2008, it was just the U.S. mainly trying to implode the system, and it was the Fed that bailed them out. This time, China is going to implode. U.S. is going to implode. Europe implode. All the bonds imploding on the, at the same exact time. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> you know, Greenspan always said it's got to be big enough. It's got to be big enough. That's why he blew the bubble up in the... Um, mortgage derivative area. 
for 2008 crash that wasn't big enough. The largest market on the world, bonds and FX trading, boom, is all going to implode at the same time. That will be big enough. Those of you expecting a smooth transition, it ain't going to happen, my friends. As a reminder, Taewoo ranked 132nd in the 2018 global, uh, Fortune Global 500 list, higher than any other conglomerate, including service carrier China Telecom and financial titan Citic Group Corp. It had annual revenue of $66 billion, profits about $122 million, assets worth $38.3 billion, and more than 17,000 employees as of 2017. According to Fortune's website, Taewoo is owned by the Taijing government and operates a number of industries, including infrastructure, logistics, mining, autos, and ports, according to the website. It also has footprints in countries, including the U.S., Germany, Japan, and Singapore. Putting last week's unprecedented event in context, since the first SOE bond default emerged in China's domestic market four years ago, 22 firms have failed to make good on a combined 48 billion yuan or $6.9 billion onshore bonds as of the end of October, according to Jusing Securities. However, despite periodic scares such as late payment, Chinese SOEs had yet to suffer any high profile default in the dollar bond market since the collapse of Gaijan International Trust and Investment Corp in 1998. Taewoo is precisely that default. Further, Taewoo's exchange offer, which has bondholders accepting a, a major haircut on their bonds, is seen as a roadmap for resolving similar debt crises in the future as the prospect of more failures by state-backed firms loom. 2019 has already seen over 20 billion of SOE defaults, nearly triple 2018 and the record high. Specifically, <clears throat> a former Fortune 500 company from the Northern City of Taijin said dollar bond investors representing 57% of the total 1.25 billion have agreed to pay just 37 to 67 cents on the dollar, depending on the maturity of the bonds. Additionally, bondholders representing 22% of these bonds voted to exchange their debt for new bonds with sharply lower coupons to be issued by Taewoo's offshore debt manager. This is one form of default based on our definition, said Moody's analyst Ivan Chung, pointing out that the debt restructuring has resulted in losses for investors. The distressed exchange offer, which concluded hastily last week, represents the first of a kind of debt restructuring plan for the relatively immature Chinese bond market for a state-run enterprise in the dollar bond market. It was always it was rushed ahead of $300 million bond maturity on December 16th, one of four notes covered by Taewoo's debt restructuring. Taewoo's default is a landmark case and demonstrates a growing tolerance for defaults and distressed SOEs, said Cindy Hong, an S&P Global Ratings credit analyst. Now, this is all, all relying on the, on the uh, credit rating companies to say it's a default or it is not a default. They have declared this a default, which triggers all kinds of derivatives for this company. This is a poor outcome for investors that bought the bonds at par. That said, there is now some track record as to the severe, severity of loss for an SOE-related entity, said Charles McGregor, head of Asian Asia at LaCour Analytics. Hopefully, these types of restructures will bring more discipline to the market and result in investors properly pricing for apparent risk. <laughs> the derivative market is just quivering. There are winners and losers. Remember, it's about three weeks that derivatives get settled. Especially, I don't know what gold, silver, I, I'm sure if there's an event of default, it triggers all kinds of derivatives that were it doesn't even have to be related to these bonds. It could be, but any derivatives related to the company in an event of default triggers derivatives. That's what happens. It all started with the, wait, hang on. Uh, Taewoo's debt issuance had surfaced from its current crisis, maybe only the tip of the iceberg. Taejeon's economic growth has slowed down sharply since the beginning of 2016. GDP growth dropped to 1.9% in the first quarter. Even as it started to rebound thereafter, the outlook is still pessimistic, with GDP growth in 2018 far less than 4%, which ranked it last in the country. On 
On the other hand, according to a 2016 report released by Moody's, state-owned enterprises in Tejing recorded an aggregate liability to fiscal ratio of more than 600%, which was the highest in the country. And that was back in 2016. I want to know how many derivatives related to gold and silver are being triggered right now. They're waiting in line. The people who, <laughs> shorts, longs, you name it. Remember, if you're a commodity trader, your game is derivatives. If you're the largest commodity trader in China, your game is derivatives. And they're highly levered derivatives. I would assume billions upon billions are being triggered right now. It will certainly have a chilling effect on demand for Chinese bond issuers, as investors will actually have to perform due diligence to find out what they are buying. Investors would be going back to basics and assessing credit risk at the company's standalone ability to repay is the first line of defense when it comes to non-payment risk, said Kwai Chung Gong. In short, investors would be reacquainted with the thing called fundamentals. Oh, the horror, the horror. Just in case Taewoo's default isn't troubling enough, Moody said that it expected the number of Chinese defaults to jump further in 2020 as economic growth sputters and the government attempts to rein in support to, un, uh, to indebted companies. So what happens next? Now that the Taewoo event of default is in the history books, the next question is, what will bondholders of China's other SOEs, those who bought bonds on the assumption China will always bail them out, do next? A flurry of aggressive selling may be just the catalyst that cracks the market if it emerges in the extremely illiquid days just before Christmas. It's like this was all planned out, isn't it? Because it was. <laughs> and I talk about that in my latest post at the Road to Root on the Private Road. Um, I've, put, I've posted two of the uh, timeline uh, videos. I got one more that actually won't come out until next week, the one on cryptos. The first one is Repocalypse Now. The second one is uh, Silver's War, Silver War's Grand Finale. And I make my case for the end of this game. It is ending. So hang on tight. Uh, more about this later. If you want to subscribe to The Road to Ruta, get access to this, hit subscribe today. And you will get one very token, which is very valuable. It will be very valuable. Uh, and a silver coin, the coolest silver coin ever made. No, we don't sell these retail, only for Private Road members. And they're each numbered and double stamped. Look at Ruta jumping up and down on the road to Ruta. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's where we are on the road to Ruta. Whew. We're going to find out what derivatives are attached to Taewoo in the coming weeks. And let me tell you, my estimate is they are a huge problem for our friends over. Uh, the the gold and silver market raiders. A huge problem, but we'll find out very soon. This is Big Swear, Roadroo.com. Let's end on a song. Anyway, so yeah, jump up and down the stream. So I wrote a song about what's going on. It came from a friend of mine who bought at the highs in 2017 and got financially destroyed. Yeah. It's called Free Markets are the Road to Freedom. That's loud. <laughs> Here's a true story about a man just like you. Worked his whole life, he was honest and true. He built up a nest egg the way they said to. Invest in the market, let the money work for you. And everything was fine, picking the winners every time. He started to believe. He can make dollars out of dimes Little did he know He's being primed for the fall See the riggers let you play Then the riggers steal the ball We want free markets Not a million phantom trades Till everyone's honest 
we're gonna lose what we made. We gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one. Free markets are the road to freedom. Every day, socialists fail every time and every way. But we need a better system to make a better day. We need free markets, not a million phantom trades. Cause everyone's honest, we're gonna lose what we made. We gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one. Free markets are road to freedom. I said free markets are the road to freedom. There's a crypto solution, if only done right. We can take out the liars dark in the light trust in the math not the people who lie I think we can make it if we give it a try we want free markets not a million phantom trades unless everyone's honest we're gonna lose what we've made we gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one Markets are the road to freedom. I said free markets are the road to freedom. Free markets are the road to freedom. Thank you, folks. Absolutely 100%. Let's demand free markets. All right, let's get the band up here. Where's Dick and Snippy?